Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 27. So I have not accepted a job yet. Uh, we are December 11th, so I have been out of work for less than a month. You can see the list of jobs I have applied for. It's not a long list, but it's, you know, what's that, four, seven clubs. I did apply for JOI because they were a two-star club. Uh, in the first division. So I thought at worst they'd end up in the second division and then that would put me where I wanted to be in Brazil building up my reputation. Um, so keeping in mind that when we left um, Minnesota, who appears that they have hired a coach. Awesome. We'll take a look at them in a minute. Um, yeah. Well, you know what? Screw it. Let's look at it now. Mina Soro. No, it's M I N A. Mina Soro FC. Juan Tolosano. Okay, good on him. Uh, so he is, whoa, he's got pretty good ratings. Uh, Milestones. So he was the assistant coach for a year at Deportivo. Pinaral, unemployed for a long time. Uh, Mineros de Guyana, head coach for a year. That's a long time to be out of work, huh? Wow. All right, so they're taking a gamble on him, getting him back into, uh, but he got his pro license. Nice on him. So, uh, so that is the deal. Okay, I wanted to look. Their estimated value. Where's my freaking ink pen? There it is. All right, so they're valued at 13.36K. All right. So I've gotten two job offers. I've had two interviews. I've gotten offers on both. The first one was the Universitario de Sucre in Bolivia, the Primera Division. Now, the problem with that is, now the Premier Division is number 15 in the country. So remember, we were, um, where's Venezuela? Anybody in Venezuela? Hello, Venezuela? Nobody? Nobody. Nobody? Nobody at all. Oh, well. Um, anyway, well, hold on. Mena, Soro. All right. And then we can go look at the at Segunda Division. All right. Segunda Division, Venezuela. All right, they're number 25. So that's, that's kind of what I was looking at overall ranking, right? Now, we were going to be up, so that was no big deal. So if we come back... Um, I've been approached twice. I delayed them, and then Kiriko just offered me a deal. So if we take a look at job security, scroll back up. There we are. All right, so the University de Sucre in Bolivia. So first off, they are they're in the Premier Division. However, however, they're going to be they're in a playoff for relegation and I don't know where they stand on that cuz they're still in the closing stage so their season's not over yet they could move up but they have an opening in a closing stage as well okay so that's that's one thing. Uh, if we look at the club itself, I mean they've got you know they've got some salaries. I mean they're paying this guy almost a hundred thousand a year, so they are paying some salary. They're professional. They have adequate below average facilities, and they're valued at nine hundred and ninety two k. And finances are okay. Two-star reputation. Possible they're going to go down 
if they get relegated. So that's something to think about. Because I believe that sends them down to level 28. And we're at 25. We were at 25 currently. So I'm, a, I'm afraid they might get relegated. Kiriko Unido is in Chile, Chile. They're in Division B. So Division B is number 21 overall. So it's actually a step up in competition. They're two-star. Don't have a big squad. They're not paying a ton in salaries. They've got some guys in the 20 to 30 range. But they're valued at $1.29 million. They've got adequate and below average. So I'm not sure. I, I don't know which job to take. Um, I want to say... I want to say their offer was in the $90,000 a year range. Oh, there it is. Uh, $91,000 a year. They're offering me $65,000 a year. They are the, they're the bigger club as far as level. But they're not worth as much money, which means I think Kiriko is a bigger club. Man. And... They're definitely not relegated. So that's good. Uh, I mean, eight wins, nine draws, 13 losses. We definitely need to build on that. But there's only 21 points separating us from the top of the table, which is not a huge amount from what I'm used to, say, in the championship or the Premier League in England, right? I think I'm going to take that job. I think I am. Who's their key player? Uh, key player is Vincente Fernandez. He's a left back. I Okay, well, that doesn't help me any. 27 games, 3 assists, a 6.79. That doesn't help me any at all. Um, hot prospect. Five goals allowed in two appearances, playing a six in the cup. That sucks. He is wanted by quite a few teams. I do like the fact that they're valued at over a million dollars. It means they they're they're worth more money. They've got more money. Now they're three star finances. Let's look at that. Three star finances. They're three star finances. Who's their key player? Key player Fernando Juarez. Midfielder, defensive mid, 48 matches, 6.79. Oh, wrong way. Their hot prospect. No hot prospects currently. Um, oh, you know what I want to look at? Let's look at, um, let's look at one more thing together. So in Bolivia... We have 14 teams. You play each other twice. So 13, that's 26 matches. There is qualifying to... So there is an opening and a closing stage. Um, stages... Opening stage. All right, we finished. Well, we they finished at 19 points in the opening stage, the strongest. That's awesome. 
finished last on 18 points in the second stage. And then that put him into a playoff. So again, I don't know what the playoff is going to do if that's if they're if they're relegated. This is just continental qualification. Um, oh, you know what? Let's check one other thing. Uh, schedule. Schedule. Home matches. So they drew 5,066. 45, 51. 42, 41. 4,000. Five, and then 53. So they're drawn between 4,500 and 5,000, right? And it looks like they've got a 6,000 seat stadium facilities. Actually, I got a 32,000 seat stadium. They pay rent. Okay, that's an that that could be an issue. 10% of gate receipts. Poor field condition. Okay. So 32,000 drawing six. And paying 10% rent. And then the other one was here. Facilities is an 8,000 all seater. But they're paying sixteen thousand a year. Now I don't know what that translates to, but let's go to schedule. Those are friendlies. I don't count those. Uh, so they're pulling twenty eight hundred, twenty seven hundred. About 32, 32, 32, 33, 24. Hmm. But they don't have, you know, they're, and they're paying rent too. Man, I don't know. I don't know whether to try to delay them or not. Um, let's see. Is there anybody? Let's go to the job center. Now, this is another one. I'm considered the leading candidate. Now, Sucre wants me for sure. Unido, I'm not the uh, favorite, but they've offered me the job. Independiente is in Paraguay. Paraguay, Paraguay. Now they're in the intermediate division, which is 22. So that's right there with that Chilean first division. We haven't even interviewed with them yet, right? So they're only valued at 59,000. All three teams are professional. All three teams are okay, three-star finances. They're only one-and-a-half-star reputation, so I don't think I want to wait on that one. Um, I think I need to make a decision here. I think these two teams, it's hard. I mean, I don't have either of the clubs scouted. All right. Um... I mean that's ninety one thousand a year. It's a one year deal. That's thirty thousand a year less. Six hundred and fifty one thousand payroll budget. I've got to have a positive locker room. I've agreed to that and keep the general manager. It is for a year, so till next seat next year, December two thousand twenty-two. I just think 
they're worth more. They're paying, I don't know if I like the rent. The stadium size doesn't bother me. I mean, granted, 32,000 is a hell of a lot more than 8,000, but if you're only drawing 3,000 people anyway, right? Because you know if we get sent down, you know if we get sent down, then that's going to get cut. Now this this is in Chile, and the other one is in the other one's in Bolivia. I think I want to go to Bolivia. I don't know why. Looks like they've got more players. They're paying some salary. Uh, you know what? I, I'm going, I'm going to, uh, walk away. Well, I'm going to, let, let me, eh, I'm going to walk away. I'm going to walk away. Oh my God. I can't believe I did that. All right. Well, let me go to the next, uh, see if that's who we, we take that. I think that's the job I'm going to take unless somebody else comes along and I'm not going to apply anywhere else. I think I've applied everywhere. I had a good range of applications I'd like to get into Brazil but I think that needs to be a, another stepping stone we need to go somewhere else so we start off in Venezuela we can go down to Bolivia and then you know Brazil's right across the border right I mean it's not like it's far away at that point um, I need to go somewhere and win so I think we've got, we had, uh, yeah, yeah, I think that's what I want to do. All right, unless something else comes up that makes me take a different job, expect that I'm going to take that job, and we'll see you back here for first match, transfers, whatever. So we'll see you back here shortly. For you, for me, it'll probably be a while. <laughs> well, we are in Bolivia. I'm in a hotel because I haven't had time because there's still a game to play. Not only a game to play, but it's a relegation playoff game. And not only is it a relegation playoff game, it's the final in the second leg of the relegation playoff game. So, <laughs> so let's take a look. We won the first leg 2-0. And we're playing a 4-3-1-2 in that match. 25-3 on shots. So we'll, we'll get through the match, and then we'll come back, and then we'll learn a little bit more about the team, the area. That'll give me the off-season to hire a staff, because I literally have nobody on the staff, basically. I have uh, me. <laughs> I have a, a chief scout. Yeah who's on the books for another month and we have two medical team members. So yeah, uh, I don't even have rating information on abilities. I've never seen that. I don't know if that's because we haven't been out on the pitch. I have no idea. So anyway, um, We're up 3-0 from the opening leg on the road. So we'd have to lose 4-0, right? 4-2-3-1. So I think I'm going to jump into tactics. Well, I can't, I can't pick anything because I don't know anybody's stuff. So that kind of sucks. Well, now, I don't know how that looks because I don't have any scouting done. Uh, which is okay. Hmm? That's our, that's what we're going to go with. It's the last match of the season. Um, so I want to save this real quick. 
That's our guess 11. <laughs> our guess 11. Nice. All right, team selection. There we are. Submit the team. There we are. Oh, real quick, just out of curiosity. All right, 37, 18. All right, Rome is really the only stretch. Do I have anybody? 10 and 35. He's got pace, dribbling, finishing. He's just 5'5", five, five, though. Holy crap. Attacking mid. Um, you know what? I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with it. Rome getting a start in what could be the biggest game of the season. <laughs> All right. Well, I wasn't expecting this. Uh, pep talk. Uh, this is a great opportunity. And I'm going to go ahead and praise him up. Praise them up. Tunnel interview. I hate doing these, uh, but I don't have an assistant manager to assign it to. So this is my 107th game. I ended up 106 games at Minnesota. Uh, it's a special day. Yep. Uh, this could be the last time. I mean, I haven't really worked with them. Well, yeah, we, if we win, we stay up. So that's the priority. <laughs> uh, da, 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 fear complacency. Focus on playing our game. All right. We are in red with a stripe, with a blue stripe. That's cool. I forgot to look at the kits. All right, Bruno Lucas overlaps. Oh, slid tackle away by Jagushi. All right, Bruno Lucas. Oh, he backs up. Oh, he lumps it into the box right to a white shirt. All right, so Grido knocks it down. Aragua crosses it over to Sosa, heads it into the box. Now Donato down to Sosa. There's an in ball. Serrano has to run it down. Tackled away from behind. He tried to break my player's leg there, man. All right. Actually, I like the way they look. They look they look like much better players already, right? Than what we're used to seeing at Minnesota. Just here in the early going. Oh, let me pause it. Uh, yeah, extended highlights. That's normal. Yeah, everything's set there. Cool. All right. Wanted to make sure none of that changed. We've got some fans over here getting rowdy. Oh, a header into the goal. Baron Doga, first goal of the season. Aragua with the assist. That puts us up 4-0 on aggregate. God, I can't wait to get an assistant coach so I can know what ratings are and stuff. Holy crap. I feel so lost here. Sosa into Juarez. Dropped back, top of the box. Oh, knocked away, quickly put back in. That deflected, sets up another corner. Looks like we're dominating possession here. Putting the pressure on him. Ah, uh, you got to do better than that. A hundred percent of the, wow. All right, Maldonado holds the ball up in the middle. Arago with time. All right, he breaks to the right side of the pitch, brings it down, and gives it away to Hirana Mercado. All right, they work it back into the center of the pitch to Daza. Come on, boys, close down. All right, there's a little pressure right there. All right, he lumps it finally. Oh, that uncontrolled header. All right, Maldonado up into the box, lays it off to Sosa. Oh, there's a nice turn. Oh, come on. Luca into the goal. 
Aruga with the assist again. Second assist of the game for him. Lucas with the goal. 2-0. Come on, boys. Oh, I'm liking that. Liking that. Sosa Juarez. We're 14 minutes in. Oh, he puts it up. Offsides. Okay, Maldonado offsides. Five shots to zero. Two chances. Dominating possession. 85% passes. 100% tackles. Aragua. Oh, my God. Baron Doge with his second of the game. Aragua with the hat trick of assists. Holy crap. We've doubled it up. 6-0. I may turn this down just to key highlights. Oh, Serrano. And it's not Pedro Serrano. Squared in. Aragua. Takes a touch. Just off target. All right. We can run the clock a little bit now. We've got a 9-1 with two goals. It's two goals off of our back line, boys. Three goals off of our back line. I don't think I've ever had that. Three assists from our midfielder. Three goals from our back line. Holy crap. A hundred percent down the right. Oh, that was not good. Oh, that was a good save by the keeper. So we're playing everything down the right this match. They must be really weak over there. Oh, well, that was a kick and a half. Sosa plays it out wide. Serrano brings it up. He, he's laid off, so he has some space. Tackled away. All right, I'm not impressed with that. Rodriguez to the playmaker. Juarez plays it out. Sosa brings it down. Squared in. There's a shot. Damn it. I don't want to run it up, but hey. All right, lumped in, headed out. Aragua chases it down. Well, he, he runs it down eventually. All right, we got Sosa lined up. Bruno Lucas. Out wide to Maldonado. Squared in. There's a header just off target. 12 shots to zero. All right. Laid back. And, you know, this is good for... Oof. Across the face of the goal. I mean, this is good to be able to see this because we're able to kind of see a little bit more of our players that we're dominating this much. It'll give me something to work on moving into next season. Maldonado controls it, lays it off to Sosa. He takes a bad touch from outside the box. All right, let's get into halftime here, boys. What's interesting about this club is they're actually owned. Uh, the owner is a university, the University of San Francisco Xavier, something like that. So we'll go over some of the some of the stuff. Fourteen to nil, first half. Um, I'm pleased with the performance. Keep it going, and if you would avoid a booking, we can go there. I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch this to just key highlights. See how much that cuts down. I, you know, if, if all we're seeing is actual goal chances. So three chances on 15 shots. That's not great. I mean, it's, it's good. Three chances in a whole game is good. Oh, taken down in the box. Baron Doge is going to take the penalty. Isn't that my center back? Oh, the center back with the hat trick. Holy shit. <laughs> he 
don't have center. I've, this is my second club in a row where my center back wants to be the striker. Jesus. Uh, three goals, three assists. All right, let's make a sub here. Um, defensive mid. Let's bring in Pacheco. Uh, Rodriguez, defensive center. We'll bring in Queller. All righty. This is our home stadium, I believe. Of course, I'm not sure, you know, that it's how realistic it is. Actually, I've looked at a picture of the stadium. Juarez, he puts one in. Nice job. 8-0 on aggregate. Oh, we're just crushing these guys. Yes, proceed with the tactical change. Um, it's kind of a, uh, it's kind of like an oval stadium with like a flare to it from what it looks like. So I'll see if I can get some pictures. For some reason, I can't get Google Earth. Oh my God, that was a big shot. Aragua says, that's enough assist. I'm going to put one in myself. 9-0, 6-0 today. Gee whiz. All right, you know what? We're going to we're going to pull down the balanced and let's go to uh, a lot of time wasting, please. Confirm. Sosa, let's it get cleared out. Choka Huanka. I hope I'm even close to that. Defense collapsed. We had a lot of bodies around him. He just lumps it into the stands. Let's go ahead and do another sub here. He's at 54%. Let's bring Alicia in. Probably should have brought him off. Oh, a little deft touch. Maldonado, his first goal of the season. Holy crap. We've got more goals in this game than I think we scored all season with Minnesota. That's just crazy. Right? Crazy? Cray cray. 83% down the right. That's that's a little weird. I'm guessing either they're extremely weak or we're ext extremely strong. We are in a relegation playoff. I'm guessing us being relatively strong is probably not true. Oh my God, our first match and we get ticker tape. Yes. Hell yeah. All right. 29 to 2 on shots. I will call that a successful debut. A hat trick by our center back. <laughs> Uh, Rome, you played a 6-7 in the first half, 8-7 overall. Oh, my God. This guy, uh, Pacheco, let's deal with you, man. You're horrible. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, passionate, very pleased. All right, they're happy. We're off to a good start with the boys. Now, I don't know what this does. All right, so we win post-match. Uh, no, I'm going to decline. Stellar sure was. Pena. All right, so yeah, I don't know where we go next. I, I, we're done. He's the one that was talking to me. Whatever. All right, schedule-wise, are we done? We are done. That was a home game. 5,700 and some change. Okay. Uh, finances. All right, we have money in the bank. That's good. We actually had income this month. That's excellent. We are bleeding money, it looks like, but we're about 600000 under the payroll, and we haven't really touched the transfer budget. So I'm going to have to go in. Let's see if I can figure out. 
Uh, let's go to the, uh, actually, no, that's where I want to be. All right, so January 11th. Wow, this is an all-year affair. Is there, like, no time off? It's December, it's December 19th, and we they play one friendly. Wow, that's crazy. Um, interesting. All right, let's check a few things. So uh, season preview, we were picked to finish 12th. I don't know what that is. Um, stages, the opening stage, we finished 13th. Closing stage, we finished last. Overall table, and we went to the playoff, and they got the destroyers got destroyed and got relegated. So we've got some room to we've got some ground to make up big time. Uh, rules: fourteen teams, twenty six games, and that looks to be each stage because there's not groups, which I actually like. So that's a lot of oh my god, fifty two games! Holy crap! So this is interesting. I did note this. So the typical seven and three, but under 20 players, if you have youth on your roster, they have to play a combined 45 minutes of the 26 matches played. And for every 90 minutes that they are below the threshold, the team gets deducted three points. So a combined... So our, our U20s have to play at least half of every game. And for every night, so let's say they only play 40 minutes. Well, that's five minutes accumulated towards this 90. And if we hit 90, we lose three points in the standings. That's nuts. So squad, how many guys do we have under the age of 20? Uh, well... Just one? I don't know if these guys count. But he played, he started 22 matches. <laughs> I think I think he played. I think that's what you do. You play the first, all the young guys in the first half of the season. But no, that's, that's not, oh my God. So that's going to be weird. I've never seen a rule like that. Um, I need to get a general manager and an assistant coach hired. Then I need to work on the rest of my staff. I need to see what the rating on these guys are. Um, luckily, well, I've got a month before anybody's contract expires, but that's a lot of players. So I need to look into these guys. Um, all right, they're on loan. On loan. All right, so these guys are on loan in. Not worried about that. That's a nice salary for that guy, huh? Interesting. Uh, I need to start doing some scouting. Uh, yeah, so I got a lot to do. So anyway, welcome to Bolivia, right? Bolivia, right? Check. I didn't forget. Um, new club, second club of the save. Hit the like button, subscribe. Let me know what you know about the Bolivian Premier Division because we hopefully will be here long term. 120 points on 52 matches. We are uh, we almost we almost got lapped by a century. That's not good. So yeah, we'll you know we're, we'll look to try to build the team a little bit, but you know. I'm thinking I'd like to be somewhere 8th, 9th, 10th at worst. Uh, but anyway, we'll see. We'll see. Long way to go. Guys, thanks so much. Looking forward to the new save, at least for right now. And we'll see you guys next episode. Take care. Bye.